guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm watching Lucifer Season 2, Episode 7. And, yeah, let's get right to it. Yo, thank you, Officer Decker. Before I forget. Oh, it's... For you and Grace. Wait. Is this Chloe's father? High school? Opens Friday. You okay, P? Oh. Hey, listen. <laughs> Come on. Doesn't actually seem like it was just a robbery, but like he just shot him. No, Warden, you listen to me. This man killed my father. He cannot be released. What? You're letting him off on family leave? Detective, I understand how you feel. Oh, respectfully, there is no way you understand how I feel. I'm sorry. I know it's your father we're talking about, but this wasn't my call. Fields has been a model prisoner for over a decade. He lobbied the prisoner's rights board and they said yes. What's he gonna do with this leave? Go destroy another family? It's for his granddaughter's christening. My dad never got to go to his granddaughter's christening. Where is the justice in that? I'm sorry, Detective. I wish there was something we could do. <sighs> You're not gonna get away with this. He's gone. Wait, is he dead? Is that him? But people like you. They find you helpful, like duct tape or a trusty socket wrench. I want you to teach me your secret. I want you to show me how to be a tool. You stay out of the way. Follow my lead. I call all the shots. You understand? Well, this feels like something that you would agree to, so yes. Joe Fields. Wait a minute, the Joe Fields? Yeah. In... The guy that killed my father. They targeted him while he was vulnerable. This was a hit, man. Wait, wait, wait a second. The guy who killed your dad was just murdered, and you caught the case? Yeah. Wait, Chloe, I'm gonna stay on this. Yes, Detective Dan and I won't rest until we catch the killer. I don't think that it's a good idea for Lucifer to be part of this case. I agree. I mean, the last thing this case needs is a loose cannon. She needs someone like you, a reliable, helpful, boring detective. Now, the good news is that's me as well. Most of the Dans are on the case. Can't you take anything seriously, man? I assure you, I'm taking this very seriously. Oh, really? You're doing a great job of showing that. Nice. It would mean a lot to me if you worked together on this. Oh, well, well, the secret ingredient is the Hawaiian bread, and then you just cut a hole in the middle for the egg. Can we have this for every meal? You know, this one used to be my favorite, too. Mm. Grandpa used to bring me this sandwich every Thursday after acting class. Why don't you ever talk about Grandpa? Mm. Perhaps. I guess because I miss him. Do you think he would have bought me sandwiches? Mm -hmm. I think he would have loved that one. Okay, take it easy. And then today when I got the video. What video? His lawyer sent this to me. Said I was to receive it upon the event of his death. So he wasn't a father's killer. Oh my god. Sorry, I had to stop for a costume change. Nice jacket. Thank you. I actually needed a moment until I recognized him. Like, what? He looks good. Maybe we blend in so well it doesn't even seem. Rodney Lamb! Good call, Rodney. Three minutes before he died. What part of town is this? It's our old apartment in Venice. My father was killed across the city in Koreatown. There's no way your father could have recorded this and gotten to the crime scene in time. So it's true. He didn't do it. Which means whoever did kill my father got away with this and is still out there. Here's how it went down. I put word out that I needed money. I was desperate. And some people came to me with an offer. All right, she knows she's a demon now. She Metaphor. Well, you're not wrong there. <laughs> but you really are one. Aren't you? Yeah, I am. Is that really? 
really so bad? The real killer is somehow connected to the Russian mob. We have a suspect named Boris Sokolov, owns the bathhouse. Connects criminals, but keeps his own hands clean. No one has ever been able to get to him. Yet. Detective Dan and I won't rest until we get to the bottom of this, I promise you. Wow. Look who bought a ticket to the gun show. Divorce becomes you, Detective. I do not sound like that. Of course we do. We sound like two totally normal dudes. Will you cut it with the me stuff? I need you to stop playing around and take this seriously. You got it, partner. This is gonna be epic. You wish for my kid. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> uh, Joe Fields isn't my case. I'll just, I'll leave it for Dan. Well, I mean, nothing is stopping me from helping out with the Joe Fields case while you tackle your dad's, right? I mean, if it's the same killer, divide and conquer. What your dad was working on when he was killed, see? I knew you were a hugger. <laughs> I want someone dead. Who? Lucifer Morningstar. And what has this person done to deserve death? Well, he hurts people. And not just his enemies, those close to him as well. In fact, I think he hurts them most of all. Go and take care of this Lucifer person. I'll find you your pet. Lovely. I admit to nothing. But I did once hear about the John Decker. And as I recall, he was sniffing somewhere he didn't belong. Wow. What's the job this time? Top of the saints. But apparently I still have to do some cleaning. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> you okay? No, oh, I'm... How do you know what feels right? Mm. You just know. Great advice. Really great advice. Detective <sighs> Douche, how dare you subject me to this pathetic caricature? You have the nerve to stand there and accuse me of making fun of you. Boring, helpful. Your life is simple. <laughs> My life. Yes. Come on, man. You're rich. You're handsome. You drive fancy cars. You date hot girls. You have no kids. You have no responsibilities. How much more simple can life get? I'm afraid you don't know the whole story. Well, fine. Tell me. You think Chloe divorced me because I'm a perfect guy? I did a lot of things that I'm not proud of, man. And I'm just trying to work through them. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I love the little bromance. Can we get more of that, please? Well, you said that he smiled at you when he was released. Yeah, I forgot about that. But why would an innocent man smile at the daughter of man he took the fall for killing? Deputy wardens are desk jockeys, bureaucrats. Of course. So his print shouldn't have been there. Yes. What if Fields wasn't smiling at me? What if he was smiling at the person next to me, the warden? So you think that Joe Fields and the warden had some kind of deal? Yes. Right, wouldn't Dan be more helpful? If I'm gonna take this guy down, I need my partner. I'm so sorry, Chloe. The warden gave us a slip. What? I tracked down the scumbag myself. I just felt right. Become a detective. We're not gonna hurt him. Ah. Well, might we punch him more? <laughs> I tried to get him to drop it, but he wouldn't take the hint. I got paid. As a bounty hunter. Oh yes, a perfect job. <laughs> Hunting humans is a job. Who <laughs> Oh, come on. First thing I wanted to do was celebrate with my friend. She's so cute. Oh yes. Can we be friends? You're a, you're a demon. She always has been. Lucifer's the devil. He always has been. How you got along with us fine. Over that? He's still the same old Lucifer. You're still Dr. Linda Martin, and I'm still Mace. 
Very mature, I don't care much for my dad. But you, you clearly care about yours, which is why you followed in his footsteps, I suppose. Hmm. But what, what I'm trying to say is, I think he would be proud of you. My apologies, Detective. I didn't mean to hurt you. No, no. <laughs> Then why are you crying? I like this episode. We finally got... Oh, well, Chloe got closer. Officially. Let me stop this. Um... She got his father, her father's killer. Linda came around. She's back to being Mason's friend, which, yes, Mace. She was so cute. I want to celebrate with my friend. Um, Lucifer and Dan did not expect that, but I really liked it. I wish we get more of that. Like, new bromance, best friends type of stuff. Yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, hopefully. Bye.